Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you a really cool new updates to Pixel Dojo. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the ability to use not only Civit AI, but also Hugging Face and a couple other places, custom Laura files for Flux. First thing you've gotta do is jump on over to the Create menu, head on over to the Flux Image Creator. We've got this brand new user interface that I just rolled out earlier today. So you can come in here and you can just say Ferrari, for example, and you could click Generate and generate an image. You could also click the Enhance button that's gonna use the built-in AI enhancement feature. It uses a large language model in the background to create an amazing prompt for you that's gonna generate even higher quality results. But even those defaults look really spectacular. So the other thing you can do here though is you can go up to this new settings panel. You can pop that out. You'll notice you have control over the aspect ratio and a whole bunch of other settings. By default, we're running a LoRa on here. So we're running the Flux Realism LoRa. You can also select from Flux Schnell or Pro, but you'll also see this new Flux LoRa option. Go ahead and click on that. And you can either select from one of the LoRas that I've already loaded into the system, like Mid Journey Anime, Art, Disney, Furry Scenery, or you can go to this custom LoRa URL. Now here, what you can do is you can hop on over to a place like Civit AI, where you can browse all of the different LoRa files that they've created for Flux Dev. You're gonna to wanna to use Flux Dev specifically. That's the model that we actually support internally here. So let's say you wanna do this storybook style over here on the left. You can go ahead and open that up and you'll notice there's this download button. Go ahead and right click that and click on copy link address. That's all you need to do. And we're gonna jump on over to Pixel Dojo again. We're just gonna paste that on in and then we're gonna close the settings window and the one thing you need to do after that is you need to add the actual prompt trigger. So if you go back over, you'll notice that it's SBFTE in this case. Normally, they're gonna go ahead and tell you what it is right there on the model page. So we'll just drop that in. But in this case, first we're gonna swap out the word Ferrari with something you'd find in a storybook. So we'll say unicorn. And just like that, you've got that storybook fairy tale unicorn version using that same Laura file you selected over on Civit AI. Now, what if you wanted to do this on Hugging Face, for example? You can jump on over to Hugging Face, and anytime you're looking at any of their Loras, you're gonna notice this Files section. So just go over to, for example, Xlabs AI, Flux Realism Laura, you'll see Files, and then you're gonna find down in the files a Safe Tensors file. So you can see Laura.SafeTensors. Just right click on that, copy the link address, same thing as before, you're gonna jump on over to the settings, you're gonna scroll down to the custom LoRa URL, paste that in, and then you're good to go. So now we don't need this trigger word here because it's different for every LoRa. We can click on generate and we should give it back something completely different here. And there's our new unicorn using the Flux Realism LoRa. That's it, and as you can see, it's super easy to do. You can even use your own LoRa that you've trained as long as you've got a link to it that you can grab either on Civit AI or Hugging Face. But soon I'm gonna add a LoRa training directly into Pixel Dojo, so you're not gonna have to go anywhere else for that. Stay tuned, I'm busy releasing a ton of new features. I'm also gonna do a video on the brand new Flux in-painting feature that it just launched a couple days ago, so stay tuned for that. As always, I'm Brian Lovett. This is All Your Tech. We'll catch you next time.